Hi, welcome to Once Upon a Story. Have you ever been on your own? Sometimes it can be scary to have to do things by ourselves. The fish in the children's book we are reading today has to face danger on his own. I wonder if he will be brave. Sit back and relax for today's story. Today's story is The Bravest Fish. The Bravest Fish by Matt Buckingham Far below the waves, a little fish named Stanley lived with his school. They were the brightest, sparkliest fish of the deep, dark sea. One morning, Stanley woke up late. Hello, it's me, he called to his friends but the reef was strangely quiet. Suddenly, Stanley remembered that today was the day his school swam to cooler waters for the summer. Jumping jellyfish, he groaned. He hurried to the meeting point as fast as his fins could carry him. But no one was there. As he looked around, he saw a bright light. Aha, they haven't gone far, he said, and he raced towards the glow. But it was only a lobster counting coins. Go away! Don't touch my treasure, the lobster growled, snip-snapping his claws. I'm looking for my friends, said Stanley. Fish, the lobster grumbled. Those others were in such a hurry to find someone, they upset my coins. Others, asked Stanley. My friends. Join them then, snarled the lobster, and Stanley sped off. Ahead of him, Stanley saw a shimmer. He could just make out a bright, sparkly fish. One of his friends. Hello, it's me, he called, swimming faster. Clonk! Stanley crashed head first into something hard. Jumping jellyfish, he cried. It wasn't one of his friends at all, but his own reflection in a shiny pearl. Stanley rubbed his bumped nose, feeling a bit dazed. He didn't notice the dark shape coming up behind him. When he turned around, Stanley found himself staring straight into the mouth of a huge shark. Ah, Stanley screeched. Over coral and under weeds, he sped with the shark snapping at his tail. Finally, Stanley saw a small hole in a rock below. He dived down inside to just miss being gobbled up. Deep within the cave, Stanley shivered and shook. He felt sad and lonely. He was beginning to think he'd never see his friends again. Well, I can't stay here forever, he said at last. Stanley poked his head out of the cave to see if the shark had left. Jumping jellyfish, he squealed. The sea was a golden orange, glowing and glittering. It was the most wonderful sight he had ever seen, because there, in front of him, were... His friends. Hello, it's me, he called. Stanley, his friends cheered. Where have you been? We've been looking all over for you. And Stanley told them his adventures as they swam off in one bright, sparkly, happy school. The end. I'm glad Stanley finally found his friends again. I hope you enjoyed today's children book. If you did, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more great stories. If you have a children's book that you would like to suggest, leave it in the comments below. See you next time!